Fun fact, the Brunswick Ducal Corps only had four cannons. Bro. Yeah. In total, like, their army like, only did. What, what do you think? The British just give them more. In, oh, in, uh... Because all the new conscripts went to the King's German Legion. They didn't care about the Brunswick Ducal Corps. So here's the story of Brunswick Ducal Corps. Okay, so... Brunswick Lundberg, which was a kingdom, was uh, a, ver a very well-known kingdom, and then the Kingdom of Westphalia went up and annexed their territory. And so it was fell as a nation, it was no longer a nation. One man, who was in fact a Duke of Brunswick, uh, got and made a private army, which he called the Black Brunswickers. And black. they fought with the Austrians against Napoleon multiple times. Um, until um, until the Austrians fell. It was during the first coalition. Austria fell, so they had to fight their way out of Europe. Uh, they made it up to Westphalia. Westphalia sent out. They uh, mobilized some armies to go stop them. The Battle of Halberstadt happened. First, so the Westphalians. Yeah, yeah, these are actual battles. So, okay, so here, listen right, to this. Keep, keep going. Okay, so Brunswick had a total force of about 2,000 something. Ooh. But, wait, some sources say 5k, so I don't know anymore. Okay, how no, it was around 2,000. It was supposed to be. Because, right. the, well, they got, they got reinforcements from Britain, they got conscripts. But when they first started out, it was about 2,500 men. So. They met the Westphalian. They uh, okay. So okay, the Westphalian's closest regiment, which was the fifth regiment of, of foot. Well, it was actually the fifth army, fifth regiment. Um, it was the closest to them. There, it was actually a French general in charge of them, and he decided to run away to Halberstadt because he was convinced that the Brunswickers weren't going to attack him. So he ran into Halberstadt, which had medieval defense walls, kind of. It was it was very medieval. So it was outdated defenses. Okay, so it was a much smaller force of Westphalians. It was about one point something thousand compared to the Brunswicks. When they got to Halberstadt, they uh, they were able to meet up with their garrison, so that brought them up to about the same amount that Brunswick I got had. Brunswick, they learned that Brunswick was on the way to Halberstadt, but the commander still did not think that they were going to attack. Nevertheless, he sent out some... Oh, wait, no. Then they finally saw Brunswick on the horizon, and they sent out some Voltiger companies to go try to slow them down while they got all the defenses right and ready. So the Voltigers went out and met the Brunswick. The Brunswick beat back the Voltigers. And then, when they got to Halberstadt, they led in a three-column attack towards... into Halberstadt. They breached the walls, even though the walls had some very good defenses, they still breached them. Got into the city, went, and then the cavalry got inside, and then where the Battle of Halberstadt in this game takes place is where the reserves of the Westphalians were, and they surrendered because they thought they were surrounded by cavalry, and they thought they stood no chance. So they surrendered, some of the Westphalians go and hide in the buildings, and so Brunswick has to do a, a freaking FBI sweep of the town to go and capture or kill all the ones that didn't want to. Uh, some of the Westphalians' more elite corps, like the Grenadier Guards, did not surrender because they were in, the big, in some bigger buildings. Uh, they were barricaded in, and they were still fighting the Brunswick. So, the Brunswick just kind of made a standoff with them, and waited until they could get some cannons into the town, and then they surrendered. The same night that that battle happened, and they won, the Brunswick left Halberstadt, and just left behind the captured people, is what some people say, but it's not really known. So they left behind all the people that they captured. They went on kept on marching, and then they met up with a much, a little bit of a larger force of uh, Westphalians at Ulper, which is this battle. And so they made the Brunswick made a few attacks across the field at Westphalian, but they were all pushed back. Uh, the Duke actually made his way over 
he led one of the attacks, and then his horse got shot out from under him, and he was so he had to retreat. And then a cavalry charge went over there, and it was a little more successful, but it was also pushed back. So then the battle just kind of surmounted to nothing but an artillery duel. And then Westphalia just, it just retreated. So. What was the yes. Duke of Brunswick's name? I don't remember. Westphalia speak French or German? Or is it both? German. Okay. What was Brunswick's population, that Dutchie? Oh my god, bro! shut 